right, as I said before, well informed by bluegrass and country traditions, but not bound by them, this is FY5. Thank you guys very much. It's great to be here tonight with you guys, broadcasting live to the world from Denver, Colorado. We're excited to be here. Thanks so much for having us. Uh, we're, we're from Fort Collins, and uh, we come down every once in a while, but it's always great to have another reason to come to Denver. And uh, we've got a couple of songs we're gonna play for you tonight. That's, that's a song off our most recent album. We're going to do a song now off our very first album that we put out uh, almost 10 years ago. We've been a band for 10 years uh, with, with uh, mostly this same lineup the whole time. And uh, uh, this is a song I, I wrote uh, about a guy I met when I first moved away to college. And I grew up in the middle of Iowa, a little town, Marshalltown, Iowa. And I moved away to the edge of the state to Dubuque, Iowa on the Mississippi River, and I went to college there. And uh, the cool thing was is I had, a, I, had a, I had a car, and that helped me leave campus. And I found, I was already a musician. I had played guitar all the time growing up. And, but when I had, I had my little car, it was a Ford Escort, and I drove down to Jimmy B's Tap, 
which was uh, down near the meatpacking plant in Dubuque. And uh, on Sunday night, they had a blues jam down there. And uh, the first time I went down there, they, they didn't let me in because I wasn't old enough. But the next time I went down there, <laughs> I brought a guitar with me, and they said, oh, are you sitting in with the band tonight? I said, yes, I am. And uh, so I, I, uh, I, met, I met a guy named Denny Garcia, and he was the lead guitar player in the Mississippi band, and they played there every Sunday night. And, and Denny, uh, Denny's a, uh, probably the kind of guy my mom hoped I wasn't going to meet right away when I moved away to college. And, uh, and he, he was a full-time musician, and uh, correspondingly, he lived in an old school bus that was parked near the Mississippi River. <laughs> uh, and uh, I don't know if you've ever been to Dubuque, Iowa, but it's, it's not always very temperate. And, and so Denny is, but he, he taught me a lot of great songs, and he's just one of these guys that never really lets anything get him down. And he would always manage to find true love uh, like in October, and uh, he'd move in with that girlfriend, and he'd make it through the winter, and then uh, by April, uh, things just wouldn't be working out. But uh, he taught me a lot of songs in that little school bus, and he learned, and he he played songs, uh, uh, Merle Haggard songs, and uh, uh, Libba Cotton song. He taught me a Libba Cotton song. Taught me how to play a Libba Cotton song. All the old uh, Beatles and Stones songs. He was a great mentor to me. I wrote this song about him. This is called Driftwood.
varnish and stain. I just could not stay. I had to break away back in that sweet river flow. Again, well, I'm just an old piece of driftwood. I'm floating down, floating down. I might just stop around your town. You might just stop around our town. I could just bob around the big barges in between. Well, I might just make it down to early. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, as I mentioned, we've been able to uh, travel around uh, and play music all around, uh, all around the country, really, for the last uh, 10 years. But we sure have played a lot in Colorado, and one of the places that we we get to go to pretty regularly is over to the southwestern corner, from Durango and Pagosa. We're going to be down there again this spring. Uh, we teach a bluegrass camp down there in Pagosa every spring. But, but over there in Durango, there's a such a really rich history, and we always play uh, at the Henry Strader Theater, which is in the Strader Hotel, and uh, it's a really old hotel in downtown Durango and and it's actually been owned by the same family for the, the last three or four generations and uh, um, he's a fan of our band the guy that owns it now and and he also likes to write songs and so he was asking me to help him write songs which I did but I, I asked him a lot of stories of, uh, about the hotel and so he, he eventually told me about this guy that has worked at the hotel for almost all three of the owners. And he just recently passed away, and uh, his name is Charlie Schumacher, and that's the name of this next song we're going to do. And Charlie was a maintenance man in that hotel for all three of the owners, and, and uh, it had, it had, the hotel had gone through a lot of different renovations through all the years, and, uh, and there were kind of secrets to that building, and Charlie's the only guy that knew a lot of the secrets to that building. And even as uh, my friend Rod, who owns the building, was telling me about Charlie, he was not quite sure how he was going to get Charlie to tell him everything before he, before he kicked a bucket because he was getting older and older. And he also smoked like a fiend. Like, and most people don't live very long when they smoke that much. And Charlie... So they, they knew that his time was short, and, uh, and the other thing that he told me about Charlie is that he was really difficult to work with. And so <laughs> even if you could you know, get somebody to try to apprentice with him, usually he was kind of cantankerous. And anyway, I, I grew up with uh, guys like that that smoked and drank and were angry a lot, and uh, so it fit a certain... Uh, you know, groove that I grew up with. And so I, I wrote this song about Charlie. And yeah, well, the, the kicker for the story about Charlie, and I put it in the song, is that there was a time when Charlie um, had a brief affair with um, my friend Rod's sister. And so that was interesting because Rod's sister would have been the owner's daughter. And Charlie just worked at the, as a maintenance man for all those years. So in this next song, there is a brief time travel back to that moment and uh, you'll have to wait for it it's in the middle though so here's uh, Charlie Schumacher
Charlie Schumacher can fix anything from the olden days with a hammer and a hacksaw and his icy gaze. Schumacher hangs out in his shop in the deepest part of the basement where no one hears him cough. Some people say that Charlie smokes like an old Ford burning oil. At the same time it takes to patch a water line, he'd be down to the foil. And they don't make him like they used to, they don't make him like they used to, they don't make him like they used to. That's what Charlie says. Charlie Schumacher, you won't share secrets. Write them down in a little book. Won't say where he keeps it. Some people say that Charlie once loved the owner's daughter. Under a lock in a tiny box is a ringy border. That's Mike Fenders, ladies and gentlemen, on the songwriting and the guitar playing. We're going to do another song off of the, our latest album. And uh, I think we're due for another new one. So we're kind of stewing on some new songs. But this one's kind of a fun little swinging ditty. We like country music. It's a little nod to that old style of country swing. This one's a little quirky, too. I like to think it uh, puts a little bit of the future tense in there. That's what folk music does, is tells you stories about the now, because it even mentions the existence of uh, cell phones, voicemail. This one's called Even If You Never Call Me Back. <laughs> Back 
gone track Well, even if you never call me back very much. <laughs> well, uh, thanks again for having us. We're going to do just one more song and then uh, send you guys into your weekend. But uh, we're real honored to get to, like I said, to come down and play songs for you guys. And uh, you can look at us up online. We're FY5, I think it's FY5band.com. And we're on Facebook and all that stuff. Uh, we're going to do uh, one uh, song off our newest album, uh, and this is a story song about a lonely traveling salesman. It goes through a little town, uh, it's, it's in Idaho, and we've driven by it so many times, and uh, I, we've never been there, uh, but I wrote a song like, uh, like I have. <laughs> <laughs> a boy can dream. Um, anyway, so this song is called Coeur d'Alene. I guess.
Wow. Well, good golly. Miss Molly, I think I'm ready for the hoedown. You got toe tapping and knee slapping. We got folks out here enjoying it. Yeah. Let's give it up for FY5, folks. Come on. Come on. Love the energy. Love it. Love it. Absolutely amazing. Uh, so we had just like one moment to chat, and so I just had had this question burning in the back of my head since earlier this afternoon. What does FY5 mean? <laughs> it's not really that uh, uh, exciting. <laughs> uh, <laughs> folk friends united. <laughs> no, uh, not no, uh, not great spellers. No, uh, my last name starts with. Uh, F, so I'm Mike Fenders, and these two guys are married, and their last name's Youngberg, so that's, uh, it's not a very good story, so we don't normally tell it. <laughs> and there are five of us. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you, Mike. You're welcome. Uh, thank you so much. All right, one last round of applause for FY5. All right, all right. We've had one heck of a show here tonight at Open Music Sessions. We had the comedy of Laura Condi. I see you still back there, Laura. Give it up for Laura. We had our spotlight interview with Phenomenal Women Incorporated and Jocelyn Green. Let's give it up for them. All right. Woo, 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 woo. And we had the music of Bethel Steele. Let's give it up for Bethel. Woo, woo, woo. And, of course, FY5.